Hey everybody, it's Jamie. And Allison. And today, in today's episode of Mommy and Me Baking, we are going to make some chocolate chip cookies. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I am all about balance. Uh, we love to eat all the fruits and vegetables and all the, the healthier natural whole foods and things like that, but we also like to indulge every so often with treats. And today is no exception. We are making some chocolate chip cookies and Allison said she wanted to come and help. So being in the kitchen with kids can be a lot of fun and starting with something simple like chocolate chip cookies helps them kind of find their way around the kitchen. It helps them learn how to read recipes and things like that and it's just a really fun experience to have mom and daughter in the kitchen. I figured you all would enjoy watching us make some cookies today. So Allison, are you ready to get started? Of course I am. All right, let's get started. Okay, we've got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. We're just making a general um, chocolate chip cookie recipe. I will have the link for it in the description. We've got the recipe sitting right here. So Allison, we need, what do we need to do first? Let's see, line two baking sheets with parchment paper or spray with non-stick spray. Okay, so let's- to get best results, use parchment paper. Perfect, all right, well, let's grab some trays. And one goes on one. the other. Alright, what does it say next? Let's see. The medium bowls with the flour, baking soda, and salt together. Okay, and so flour. you're right. There's the flour. And how much flour do we need? Let's see. One and one half. Yep, one and a half cups of flour. Okay, reach in there really good. Nice. I can't reach. It's okay. It's kind of hard to reach in there. Yeah. Oh, but that's good. I'll let you pour that in. Yeah. And then here's the half cup. Do you want to try it again? Yeah. All right. Now we'll pour that in. And then we need how much baking soda? One teaspoon. One teaspoon. All right. And then how much salt? Let's see. One and a half teaspoon. Yep. There we go. Pour it in. And now we get to whisk it together. All right, Allison, so tell me, what are your favorite kind of cookies? Chocolate chip. Definitely chocolate chip? Mm -hmm. And why is that? Because they have chocolate chips in it. There you go, because it has chocolate chips in it. All right, that looks good. Now let's go get a bigger bowl. Okay, now what does the direction say? In another large bowl, use an electric mixer at medium speed, Beat together the butter and sugars until smooth and mix together well. Okay, so how much butter does it say? One half. Yep, half cup. So that entire stick, can you open it up and just dump it in the bowl? Mm -hmm. Oops, can you help? <laughs> yep. A buttery finger. And this butter is softened, which means it will be a lot softer, obviously, but that helps the sugars to beat together with the butter. Mm -hmm. Now, we need how much brown sugar? One half cup of thoroughly packed light brown sugar. Perfect. And then lightly packed, which just means we have to gently push down on it to pack it down. That looks good. Dump that in. And we buried it at the beach. Yes. Understand. <laughs> and how many, how much yes. sugar? Six tablespoons of guaranteed sugar. Granulated sugar. Wow, that's a big word. That is a big word. You know, it looks like guaranteed though. Mm -hmm. All right, so we need six of these. Can you reach in there? Of course. This one's easier. Yep. One. one. Last one. Six. All right, perfect. And it just snowed on the beach. I was gonna have to ask you what it looks like. Yep, looks like it snowed on the beach. Now we get to take this to our mixer and mix it all together. Mixy, mixy, mix. There we go, our handy dandy stand mixer. We'll push that up and then we're gonna let it beat on a medium low for a couple of minutes. Okay. 
Okay, we've the butter and sugars are creamed, and now Allison, let's take a look and see what's next. Add the egg and vanilla and mix on low speed until mixed in. Okay, do you want to crack it? No thanks. Okay, let me crack it. Then can you go get me the teaspoon, please? I, it's the blue one. Teaspoon. There you are. You're right. That's what paper towels are for. There we go. And now, let's continue. Okay, now, Allison, we need to add in the flour mixture. A little mix in. Good. Yep, until just incorporated, which means just mixed together. So we're gonna do it slowly, little bits at a time. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Now, Allison, will you go grab me um, one cup, please? And now, for the best part, the chocolate chip! The chocolate chip. Which makes them chocolate chip cookies. Oh yeah, we're gonna add in one cup of these, and we'll mix it for maybe like 30 seconds, and then we'll be ready to bake. The can oven. I taste test of a chocolate chip? Yes, yes you can. Yay! All right, Allison, how does it look? Let's see. Ooh, that looks all right, let's get these on the cookie sheet. Okay, Allison, now let's um, move this out real quick because we're gonna be scooping some cookie dough. All right, so grab a big scoop, just like that, and then, yep, scoop it up all along the side as well. Kinda like that, there you go, so it's a big scoop full. Oh, that is perfect, yes. Yep. Just like that. Oh, that's awesome. Social, social distance, guys, social distance. Oh my goodness. So Allison, what is your favorite part of baking? You can put more on that one. Um, sharing time with you? Sharing time with me? I love it. We don't usually get to bake together pretty often. Until today. Until today. I mean, after this, you're going to be a baking pro. Mm -hmm. a break, a baking. Yes. I almost said breaking. Well, you can break them too with your mouth. <laughs> Did you know you can freeze these cookies too? Yeah. Yep. I think, I don't know if it's the same recipe I used to freeze them before. But yes, cookie, both cookie dough and already baked cookies are easily freezable. So that way you don't have to have like an entire batch of cookies just sitting around waiting to be eaten. How many cookies do you think this will make? Um, I'm kind of guessing like 36 or so. 36? That's a good guess. We'll have to see. At least 15. At least 15? Oh Definitely yeah. Definitely at least 15. Oh yeah. So, what's 15 plus 13? Let's see. 28. We made 28 cookies. That is a lot of cookies. So, we are going to start these at 8 minutes and then see how it goes. You ready? They're getting there. This is so boring. <laughs> Alright, they look like they're done, Allison. We ended up putting them in for 10 minutes. And, I don't know, the ones up here are slightly round on top, but I think they'll be okay. Let's let them sit for a second, and then Allison, the hardest part, we got to wait for them to cool a little bit. Alright, Allison, are you ready for the taste test? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, how is it? Perfect. Oh, good. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video of Mommy and Me baking. I know Allison had a blast. Did you have fun making them? Mm-hmm. Now, what would you like to bake next, do you think? A triple badilla, a triple zillion layer cake. <laughs> okay, maybe we can try to make a cake next time. If you liked this kind of a video, let me know, leave me a comment. Um, we can always do more of these, but I wanted to show, you know, easy, kid-friendly recipes. Cookies are kid-friendly, and they don't have to be necessarily all that healthy. Just something that we can do together and enjoy. So if you guys like this, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, and that way you can be notified when more videos like this come out, or my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you later. Bye! Bye.